This is a message from your guides reading for serious business. Okay, so I only have two crystals that I pulled for your reading today. And then I have one group statue that I pulled here. So this is my lion, dragon, guardian. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and surround this in some protective space with my tiger's eye here. Okay, so tiger's eye has a lot to do with physical strength, vitality, but also emotional endurance, um, and also mental as well. So it really helps with any kind of adversity. Also, it helps with setting boundaries um, and kind of keeping your composure during certain situations. I keep seeing um, I keep seeing a tiger totem as well, and I feel like. I should look that up. I've gotten a tiger totem enough times during readings to kind of know some things about it already, but they want me to look this up. So maybe there's something specific. Okay. So common symbolism for the tiger is... The primary meaning of the tiger spirit animal is willpower, personal strength, and courage. Shadow or part of you that you would normally try to hide or reject is second meaning. Third would be aggression or anger directed at you or felt towards someone. So this is you feeling it towards someone or someone feeling it towards yourself and then unpredictability in life, in your actions, or your feelings. In the field of animal symbolism, the tiger is associated with both positive and negative meanings. In order to fully grasp the message that the spirit animal has for you, pay attention to the behavior it displays and the feelings you have toward it. Uh, will guide you to a deeper, more embodied understanding of meaning of this animal in your life. I actually feel like even that's important as well. Um, so I feel like your guides are even suggesting for you to kind of um, look at, I don't know, maybe an image of a tiger and kind of meditate on it, see what else comes to you. I also feel like this is kind of, this is an animal that's kind of coming to you to send its energy as well because um, the things that I was saying for the tiger's eye, the crystal here, it's really a lot of that is true of the totem as well. Really all of it is. Um, it brings a lot of physical strength, stamina, so it can help heal your physical body um, and help to invigorate it. But then it does so many similar things with the emotional and the mental body. It helps bring a lot of endurance and courage, like it was saying in there. So I even feel like that's another reason to kind of look at an image of a tiger because this almost feels like um, this doesn't feel... Usually when I say totem, I mean like an animal that has a message for you. If I say power animal, it feels more like uh, a guide that's in an animal form. Um, so this feels like a totem in the sense of it is temporary, um, 
but it feels a little bit more, um, how do I say it? It's helping you a little bit more than most purely totem animals would. Um, so it's not, this is more what I would call like an in and out guide um, or a temporary guide. So it is there around you and it's helping you, but with this kind of specific part of your path. So it might be there for a while. It feels like it will be there for a while. Um, but at the same time, it's not going to be there for like years, um, probably months more like. So this is an animal that you can be drawing, drawing um, strength from, courage from, facing fears, um, and also helping you with negative emotions that you feel towards others or also your reactions um, that you have if feelings, if you feel like something is coming towards you from someone else. So this is an animal totem that can help you when it comes to your detachment because there's a feeling from your guides like you are going to need some help with that. Okay, yeah, I I, uh, I have another crystal here, which I don't think I showed you. So, oh, almost dropped it. So this is my Jasper Pyramid. So there's a lot of kind of fiery kind of energies with this as well, a lot of charged energies. But the thing is, um, there, it's also very, very grounding because it's a pyramid so there's a lot of masculine energies here, but then at the same time, there's a lot of grounding. So there's a lot of um, detachment as well. So there's a lot of willpower, a lot of drive and focus and determination. So it feels like part of what you really need to do as well to help you with detaching is focus on your goal. Just focus on your goal all the time. Like they were saying in the last reading, realize that it's temporary. It's going to help you with something else. Um, but it's like this goal that you have. Um, you're doing this for a certain reason, for a certain purpose. And you can figure out the other stuff later. Right now, it's like you just have to focus on um, what is going to help me to detach to let go and detach. At the same time, you don't want to um, set no boundaries or like put all of your defenses away. That's not what detachment is. Um, you can, in a detached way, um, still say no to something or set a boundary with something, um, but it's still different from having a reaction and saying something in like an explosive or a reactive way. And then you also aren't being as logical. And so you're not, it's like you're not observing the situation from an angle that is clear, where you have clarity about what is really going on and happening with them and yourself. Um, you're observing it, but in this like very attached way, where it's not like you're observing it out here. It's more like you're in it. And so then you can only observe like, um, a very, you have a very limited field of vision when it comes to what you can observe. Whereas if you're detached, it means you are more let go. So you're out here. Um, you can see what's happening more clearly and you can think how to respond in a much clearer way. And you also have more details because you're seeing it from out here. So you have a, kind of a more detailed or more accurate perspective of what's happening versus this very, very limited one, which comes when you are attached. So it's like you, you just, you have to figure out anything that is going to help you with detachments. Some things, um, you're just, it's certain things are, are going to dawn on you. You're going to come to certain conclusions on your own, or you're going to find certain solutions on your own. Um, when it comes to what works just by doing different things, trying different things, 
And as you're calling on your guides and even this, this uh, new energy, I feel like it has been there for a little while, not that long. And I feel like it'll stay there for a little while longer um, until it's successfully helped you kind of pull through this. Um, these certain feelings, because I don't feel like in the last reading, they were saying that this is temporary, this patch that you have to go through. You need to get this certification. And maybe there are some other things that you'll want to get to. Who knows? And just to get certified in different things. Maybe you will have a similar, like, um, how do you say it? Uh, either struggle or kind of path to getting to a certain point. Maybe it will be less of a struggle. Um, but I also feel like these feelings that you're going through now as well, that you're kind of holding um, and the kind of experience, the kind of situation that you are experiencing with different people, I also feel like that's temporary. And it's not going to come from you escaping people. You're going to learn how to deal with it, even if you do go and you work with animals, because I feel like that is definitely suitable for you, for sure. Um, because your energy, it just kind of feels more like a mer person than a human person. And so that kind of gives your energy this, this quality where you kind of feel like half fish anyway. <laughs> so um, you're definitely going to be relating to the animals. They're definitely going to enjoy being around you. They're definitely going to feel an empathic connection with you if you were to go that route. And it makes sense if you went that route. Um, but even in a scenario like that, it's not like you're just never going to see other people, you know, or there's like, um, there's not going to ever be other people around or people that you are interacting with or socializing with to some degree. Um, even if you're more around animals than humans, there are going to be other humans that are working with animals as well. Um, so there's a feeling from your guides like it's not going to be from you escaping the human world. That's not the reason that this feels temporary. It feels like you, it feels like you're kind of surfacing all this stuff right now, but you're learning how to deal with it. Um, and you're going to learn how to, how to um, adequately deal with it. And it's going to, um, it's going to lessen and lessen and then until it just drops completely. And so you're going to end up removing the, the programmings that you have, um, even ones that would attract some of the stuff that's coming towards you. So it's not only learning how to deal with the stuff coming towards you, it's also just there are certain things that you're not going to attract anymore. And then also there are certain things um, that you'll almost take in a very different way. Um, and you'll realize that sometimes people are meaning something else or even sometimes people are just taking you like maybe they're not understanding something or you're not understanding something. So that's also why it's important to have this kind of detached view out here versus this attached one. So some of it, it really isn't anything to take personally at all. Some of it isn't even really directed at you. Um, it just feels like it to you. Some of it even feels like a language barrier type of thing. And that's also another thing. You're also going to get better. Um, I feel like even when it comes to your English, it's going to also improve. And I feel like it already has just because you're needing to speak it more and more. But I feel like that's actually also part of it as well. Sometimes you're just not understanding something um, in the exact way that somebody might be meaning it. And vice versa as well. 
But I feel like this is all going to clear and you're not going to need to escape it. Again, even if you go work with animals. So that's not them saying don't work with animals. Um, they could very well guide you to work with animals. Um, and you would still have some people around you, though, is, is their only point. You're never going to just escape the human world. But you are going to end up comfortable with it. Um, you are going to end up able to handle it very easily, um, very appropriately, um, and non-reactively. And you will end up detaching. So it's just a matter of learning how and what's going to best work for you when it comes to that. Okay, so I'm definitely over the time limit. Um, so I have to stop this reading. I feel like they could keep going, um, but I got to stop this one. So <laughs> thank you very much for another reading, Serious Business. I truly hope that this benefits you. Namaste.